are tears of happiness, tears of joy. Um, because I have emotion today. Not too long ago, I was a person that had nothing. Not even tears to cry. Um, I was just, I was, I felt invisible. Invisible to the world, invisible to my emotions, invisible to my family. Um, today is just a, a wonderful day, you know, and I get to talk about, I get to talk about a few things, you know, I want to talk about scars, the visible and the unseen, whether it's the harsh reality of seeing track marks on your arm from poking yourself over and over again to try to get that perfect one. Or from the feeling of the pain in your stomach because you are so hungry from not being able to eat for three days and you just want to steal a candy bar. I'm here to talk about, I'm just here to talk about everything that I've went through. Curling up outside alone when I had no place to sleep in the middle of winter. And if you're lucky enough, you have somebody who loves you so much, who will give you the sweatshirt off their back so that you are not cold. Luckily, I had that, but a lot of people are facing this addiction alone. I have these scars visible and unseen. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all seen the addicted standing outside the liquor store or at a gas station, just begging for a little bit of change. If we can try just for a moment to visualize the person, take a second for what they were to see what they can still be. Well, the champion plant heard those cries for change. And they're offering change. Not the change that you can pull out of your pockets or wallets, but the change that comes from within. They give people, they offer the change to give somebody the courage put aside their feeling, walk into a police station, ask for help. And whether it is 10 degrees outside or 110 degrees outside, there is somebody who's going to walk to meet you there Hold your hand on the way back. So you don't have to feel like you have nothing anymore. You're not alone. 